birthday today. So on three, we're going to say happy birthday, Dara. One, two, three. Happy birthday, Dara. That's your present. For my speech, my classmates only, and Mr. Sherman only asked one thing of me, to keep it short. So I'll try. But uh, I didn't want to give the same old valedictorian speech that everyone's heard about following your dreams and all that stuff. It's true, but <laughs> that's just not me. So for my speech, I took a little inspiration from one of my favorite authors and I kind of just went with it. So feel free to laugh or cry or yell or shout or do whatever you need to do. Um, that author is Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Many of you will recognize this poem at first, but it changes up, so <laughs> just a little bit. Oh, the places you'll go. <laughs> Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places, you're off and away. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own, and you know what you know. And you are the guy or girl who will decide where to go. But before looking too far ahead, let's take a look back to the beginning of this journey, which just now ended with a surprise attack. As freshmen, we trembled at the thought of our four years to go. Scared by our teachers and our futures, we couldn't help but think, oh no, oh no. Yes, this rhymes all the way through. <laughs> we watched the clouds while lying in the grass, and our parents had to remind us to wipe our face. <laughs> we ran through the halls getting yelled at to go to class, mostly by Dryer and Ryer looking for a hall pass. But the years ran on, as they always do. We had tons of fun along the way, and hopefully learned a thing or two. We got away with what we could, and got caught for what we couldn't. But no matter who was asking, we always said I didn't do it. Those were the days when we skipped all our classes. The Gabe and Mac page got read by the masses. <laughs> School seemed to be patching, passing like a batch of molasses. But now that it's over, it's amazing how time passes. To see who passed papers, we always played nose goes. Funny thing is, it was usually Lindsay or Rose. It must be a pawn thing, I said to myself. Rose must have died it from a box on a shelf. <laughs> Another big thing happened December 1st, 2007. Nick Frank said it was like dying and going to heaven. <laughs> that was the day we beat the whole state. Too bad it didn't happen again in 2008. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> TVing the teachers' houses that night. Each one woke up that morning. <laughs> Each one woke up that morning to find quite a sight. And oh yes, I heard that time you guys went skiing at Breck. You built a trap and got to watch other people wreck. <laughs> and that time we played catch with our friend Josh Gazio and forgot all about David Minio's big show. Some people said the show choir was a cult, but they proved us wrong as a result. They sang out their hearts and danced until they were dead. I've still got good melodies running through my head. We loved eating Santis while we were supposed to be in math. As long as we got Branville the burrito, we wouldn't invoke her wrath. <laughs> in journalism, the mean team was led by Nick and Dick. It's amazing that Mrs. Skorik didn't beat them with a stick. <laughs> And do you remember wishing for just a little bit more snow, only to find out that the superintendent was an Eskimo? <laughs> or like all those funny times at the dance when Sherman told Sean to put back on his pants. <laughs> Thanks for that, Sean. <laughs> Roebuck in class saying, I'll buy you up, son, and we would all laugh one by one. Or those times in the hall when Sherman would say, who's in charge here? And someone would say, well, I am, sir. You keeping them under control today? Why, yes, sir, I am, and he'd just walk away. <laughs> well, we'll miss you, Mr. Sherman, the staff and the school. 
but we don't want to stay here, and it's majority rule. <laughs> so without further ado, I would like to present to you, and saying this feels oh so fine, the graduating class of 2009. Yeah.